I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video so in today's video guys i'm going to be showing you the second part of my initial design which i'll link on the screen and in the description box for you you can already see this video on my um, channel if you want to see the full set but today we are just concentrating on a 3d acrylic spider so i'm using houdini black acrylic powder which is available on my website and i'm also using the jewel forms and the jewel forms are also available from glitter planet and they just allow me to sculpt whatever you want on there and then you can pop it off and apply it to your nails so it's great if you want to do something like um, before your client arrives and then you can just literally attach it to their nails so definitely invest in those if you do a lot of 3d art and you feel like your appointments are taking a long time because you can just pre-make everything and have them ready for your clients as long as you've discussed beforehand obviously what your client wants so I'm starting off with a medium to large bead of black acrylic and I'm just placing that on the jewel form at the top just because this is going to be the body of the spider. As you saw I turned the nail pop, uh, sorry not the nail pop, the um, jewel form upside down and this was for gravity to help the shape of the um, bead to become like a dome shape and to keep it even and unified. Next, I'm coming in with the tip of my brush and I'm just literally tucking in the acrylic under there just to ensure that it looks nice and neat. And then when we pop it off, we haven't got any extra refining to do with the file or anything like that. Once I'm happy with the first bead, I'm going to come in with the next bead and basically do the same process, but just a little bit small because this is going to be the head. I did do this slightly too wet so it ran it just took a little bit longer to set so it was running a little bit so if you feel like you've done a bead a little bit too wet just next time be aware and make sure to drain your brush a little bit more and then you're going to have more control over the product it's not that you don't have that control there it's just that it takes a lot longer and you have to keep repeating the steps of kind of moving the product back into place rather than being able to just do it a couple of times you have to do it maybe four to five times so as you can see i'm using the tip of my brush just to really enforce the shape of the head of the spider and make sure that you can kind of see the difference between the body and the head and making sure that it looks like it goes in there you don't want it to kind of merge all into one blob so the brush that i'm using is the number 12 aqua brush and it's a beautiful brush so it's perfect for you know you can obviously sculpt your nails but it's also good for 3d art and things like that as well as long as the pieces that you are sculpting are quite big so now I'm moving on to my number 5 3D brush. This is also available on my website, so I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And I'm using this to sculpt the spider's legs and also the eyes, because these details are a little bit smaller, so we need, obviously, a more precision application and to be able to pick up smaller beads. I'm just literally going to go in and sculpt the legs, basically in the same way, but we are dragging the product out and pulling it round with the tip of that brush. I love this 3D brush. Most 3D brushes you see are quite flat and more of like, I don't know, an oval, but short. Now, our number five brush has got this beautiful long point to it, so you can do so much detail work. It is gorgeous, but it still has a quite a fat belly, so that if you are doing flowers, you've still got the option to do that as well. I'm just going to sculpt the legs and then I'll be back. Don't forget, guys, to give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it already and subscribe if you haven't.
So next I'm coming in with Blizzard White from Nail Mate and I'm going to come in and place two big fat eyeballs on the head. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do or how I wanted to create the spider. I just made, did it from memory and kind of made it up as I went along. Hopefully, well, I think it turned out pretty well, like he looked pretty cute, not too scary. Um, so yeah, I'm just picking up two small beads, quite dry beads, and I'm allowing them to set. Can you see that they are quite bumpy there? The excess liquids that's still in my brush i'm literally just tapping those beads and it's just going to put that extra liquid in there and allow them to kind of self-level slightly so that they are even and nice now they did kind of blend together a little too much so a bit much liquid went in so i decided to go ahead and just keep on working the product and ensuring that they looked quite separate in the middle Once I'm happy with the placement of the white, I'm going to come in and add two small black dots for the eyeballs or the pupils. Um, the white is still setting, but it's set enough for me to apply the next colour. I will also still come in with my brush and just make sure that those white bits are staying quite separate. And now my spider is finished, everything is dry, we can simply just pop it off the dual forms because of the material it's made from. And look how cute he is, you could totally add crystals or glitter or any colours you want and yeah, just make them your own. So I'm just popping it here on my cuticle area just to show you guys kind of the size. I did want this to be quite big because the nails that I did were a square. And this was so funny. It just literally hung underneath my nail. I thought that was cool as heck. Seriously, you could totally do like peekaboo Halloween nails where you had the spider underneath and like turned your hand over and was like, boop, here he is. That'd be so funny. Anyway, I was just playing around here with the placement of the spider because I wasn't quite sure where I actually did want to place him. My first initial idea was to do a lot of spiders and just cover the entire set with them. However, I felt like showing you guys just one was enough and then you can do more if you wanted. So I'm going to apply him at the cuticle area and to do that you just want to use some clear acrylic. You could also use nail glue but I just prefer using acrylic. So guys, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember that you are bombo.com. Let us fucking don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back.